Welcome to a tutorial video on 22.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting and updating values in Sugarcube 2.28. When working with variables, there are two common operations, creating or updating. We're either going to create a variable or we're going to change its value somehow. In Sugarcube, variables are created through using the set macro. If a variable does not already exist, it is created. If it does, its value is changed. This is important to know because when we use the set macro, it checks to see if a variable exists. If it does not, it is created. If it does, it is updated. This is really important when doing programming within Sugarcube. We need to be very careful because values can be very easily overwritten if a variable already exists. So it's important to know these distinctions. If it doesn't exist, if for example we misspell something, then a new variable is created. However, if an old variable already exists, its value could be easily changed. So it's important for us as authors to realize this distinction and be aware of certain misspellings or how we're dealing with variables within a story. Updating is also a very important action. So if we're not creating, we're updating. Sugarcube also supports JavaScript assignment operators, such as the plus equals and the minus equals. This allows for quickly writing expressions that update values through arithmetic operations. That is, we can very quickly change values. We can update things very quickly using either plus equals, minus equals, doing division equals, or multiplies equals to very quickly change values. Instead of writing something like variable equals variable plus value, something like that, we can very quickly update this. Let's look at the code for more examples here. So we see here within setting, we're again using the set macro within Sugarcube using a story variable, setting it to a value. So set variable to value. And that's the most common example and the very base operation of using the set macro and setting a value within Sugarcube. So we're setting a variable, in this case a story variable, to a value. Very straightforward. Now I mentioned that Sugarcube supports JavaScript assignment operators and we can see that right here. Notice this example right here, using the shorthand of the assignment operators. We're saying for example variable, the fully written out version of this would be set example variable to the current value of example variable plus two. So this is a very quick way to allow us to update a value plus two. In the same way we can also do it minus four right here. So set example variable to the current value of example variable minus four. And we can also do this with division and multiplication to very quickly allow us to update values and write shorthand set expressions while using the set macro to quickly update values within Sugarcube. So in this video, I have covered two different ways of going about this. We can set or we can update values. And those are the two operations we do when working with variables within Sugarcube. We use the set macro either to create a variable if it doesn't already exist, or we can very quickly update it using the JavaScript assignment operators or just the norm operations of using the two keyword similar to when we were creating a variable. We're either creating it or we're updating it, and those are the operations we do within Sugarcube. Thanks for watching.